Hello. And hello. Thank you very much for joining me today. How are you doing? Today we're going to react to some of the top photos from Germany, out of Germany, or of Germany, or about Germany, to ever exist on this planet. Let's do it. Damn. In April, cherry blossoms bloom in Germany, gifted by Japan after the reunification. Wow. That's pretty cool. Planted in 1980. I feel like countries used to gift each other things more. What happened? Are we, we all not friends anymore? Like, I know France obviously gifted us the Statue of Liberty. You know, you guys got cherry blossoms. What happened to the world? Where's all the gifts? Now we just have war. Anyway, I guess we always had war. Anyway, planted in 1980, Bond's Cherry Blossom Tunnel is among Germany's most spectacular. Wow. Is that not AI? Are we sure this isn't AI? That is stunning. I mean, obviously, I think there's some kind of like saturation boost going on here. I need to look up a couple more photos of this because this is almost unbelievable how beautiful this is. The entire sky is just cherry blossoms. Okay, well, it looks like the first two results are the same photo. Oh, wow. No, these are different photos. It actually does look like that, huh? Oh my God. Wow. That's really beautiful. I like it, Picasso. Well, I'm not gonna read this entire comment because it's literally a novel, but I would be remiss not to point out that apparently these trees were not a gift from Japan. Fake news, everybody but planted by the city district in a common effort with local storekeepers and pub owners to improve the district. Well, they sure as hell did that. I'd say, I'd say that's an improvement. I don't know what it looked like before, but that's stunning. I hate fake news. Why is the internet just filled with fake news? Anybody can just go on the internet and say anything. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> now, 84,000 people, actually probably a million people saw this post, think this was a gift from Japan. And I was about to be one million in one. Let's move on. Whoa. This is in the Black Forest. Oh my God, look at the crucifix up top. This almost looked like a volcano. It looks like fire and then like a volcano in the center with the smoke. That's amazing. And I simply must point out these immaculate roads right here. I don't know what the point of these are. I guess it's literally just to take a trip around the cross. What a beautiful area in the Black Forest. But yeah, the lines, the pavement literally looks perfect and the lines look fresh. Good job, Germany. Looks like they started to build the road right through the forest and then, no <laughs> and then noped it back the way they came. That's funny. Nope, we're not demolishing that. Turn around. Wow. I will never get over the castles of Germany. This one is particularly interesting because it's got this... Um... Oh, man, someone told me... You guys told me what that, what that was called. It's got a name, certain kind of architecture um, style, but it's very German. And I've never seen a castle with it, but that is so beautiful. Elts Castle. Oh, here it is on Google Street View. Whoa, I'm there. I'm there, folks. Oh, I found people. This girl is staring straight into the eyes of the Google. It's like staring into the void. What a, what a nice photo of these people. But an even nicer photo <laughs> of the castle. Hey, we can't go any further fo forward? The Google guy really stopped right here and turned around. Oh my god. I want to move forward. Oh, I guess this isn't by Google. This is by some dude named Yashar. I didn't know you could upload 3D um, photos to Google Maps yourself. That's cool. So this is definitely this girl's 
boyfriend or husband taking this photo and she's like, really? You're taking another one of those for Google? Russian survivor liberated by the U.S. Army in Buchenwald camp in Germany identified a former Nazi guard who was especially cruel toward the prisoners. Whoa. Wouldn't that really be something? To be able to look someone in the eye who had total control over your life and the script is now flipped and you're like, it was him. Like, it's unreal that, that that's even possible for something like this to, you know, for the circumstances to have flipped like that. I refuse to believe that's an actual dinosaur. Y'all are making shit up, putting together random ass bones. In 1663, the partial fossilized skeleton of a woolly rhinoceros was discovered in Germany. Bull crap. This is the Magdeburg unicorn, one of the worst fossil reconstructions <laughs> in human history. Congrats, Germany. On that award. What the hell? <laughs> Even the smile just looks goofy. One of the worst. So there are more like this? Yes, I need to see an entire compilation of this. Bad fossils. Worst fossil reconstructions in human history. This is just one of the worst. Apparently there's worst out there. But we do need to look up the woolly rhinoceros to see if this even is a thing. Whoa. That's badass. It's amazing how many different species of animals there are to where... You could learn about a new one every day. Like, especially... If you include extinct ones. What are there, billions? But ones like this, I'm like, how did I not know about this? How did I never hear about this? This thing is amazing. You know what? This skeleton's not that far off. A polar fox, which I didn't know existed. Or I didn't know they were called polar fox. That's a really cool name. Escaped from a small zoo in Germany but got tired on the way. Aw. A zookeeper took him back. I hope that didn't disturb his slumber. That's pretty much how every animal at the zoo acts, huh? I'm not surprised, actually, because every time I go to the zoo, they're all just sleeping. Aww. I would definitely have thought that was roadkill, but I'm glad it's just asleep. In Germany, we have puke sinks in some public places that have events like the Oktoberfest. No way. I'm trying to think, is that, is that brilliant? That might be brilliant. I mean, look at all the different features. I was thinking, why would you need a puke sink? But you know what? This is like a toilet, like raised up so it's, you know, high enough for you to lean on without having to get on your knees. Because it's got the hole in the middle. You know, you puke in a normal sink. That's, that's, that's disgusting. But not only that, you know, I'm sure water flows out. It looks like maybe water is connected and flows all around the edge, so it washes it. And then the main water valve is high up, so it's out of the way of your head. You know, you, you don't bang your head on it. And you've got the handlebars. This would make throwing up, yeah, it pretty enjoyable. Wouldn't be too bad. So the city is actually... Disappointed if no one gets so pissed drunk they throw up. Because then, you know, they installed all this for nothing. You don't want to build all this for nothing. So you're like, okay, I hope at least a few people get drunk off their ass this year and need to throw up somewhere. <laughs> this is both incredibly civilized and incredibly uncivilized at the same time. Well said. To put it in other words, German. Love the grab bars, indeed. 
They are also found at some horse tracks in the jockey quarters. This is how the Japanese team left the locker room after beating Germany in a FIFA World Cup match two years ago. Wow. And I bet the Germans really appreciated it because you guys are also extremely organized people. You know what I mean? You like things to be pristine. So that is pretty cool. No wonder you guys are besties. How did the Germans leave theirs? Re-engineered to be better than they found it. I think this is the best photo I've seen of the emergency lane in Germany. And it looks like this one. I'm not even sure if it if a vehicle is actually coming through. Because as it says right here, by law, when the traffic comes to a complete stop in Germany, the drivers have to, you guys, move over to create a lane, whether it's being used currently or not. And wow, look at that. Beautifully done. I'm curious why there's so many people out of their cars. I mean, there's so many people just out of their cars. It must have been backed up for a while. Here in the USA, by law, when a two-lane highway becomes blocked, you must turn it into a five-lane highway and cut off every person you can while lying on your horn. Fun facts in Germany. No fun in Germany. Go back to work. <laughs> That's pretty good. Question. How many Germans does it take to change a light bulb? Answer. One. We are very efficient, and this is not a joke. <laughs> this is peak Germany. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but I know Reddit did some kind of thing where... Like everybody could add a pixel, you know what I mean, to a to a to a community thing. And look at that. That is stunning. The coat of arms, drinking a beer. <laughs> That's awesome. Now you need to show the coat of arms using a puke sink. Well, I'm gonna end it there. That was a lot of fun, and there's so many more to go through. Pretty much an endless amount, actually. So subscribe if you want to. I think I'm going to do this about once a week. It's extremely entertaining to me. And I hope somebody out there enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having a great week. And I'll see you tomorrow.